What's up? This is why I, some, I wanted to leave this opinion and sentiment for history. This is why I sometimes made fun of myself. Because what I noticed with humans is unless they're the best, they don't like you. Everybody. No matter who they are. And so I just learned, I learned how low everybody takes it. Literally everybody will take it so, so low that I just walk in and be like, got a big old dildo on my butt. Oh, I'm just a clown. Really funny. Right? <laughs> People suck. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's Cannibal Island. You know, when somebody throws, when somebody exists socially as an entity, just existing, and somebody tries to bring you down, that's like throwing acid on you. They want to dissolve you. They want to make you a joke so that you fall apart. And then they can eat all your little bits and make it about them. It's no different than <sighs> Snake Island, right? That's why, that's why it's like, why do I fight? Because I get angry right away. The Bible is a, uh, is a uh, poisonous seduction. It tells you about things that aren't true. It sells you a bridge to nowhere. And it does this in the name of right behavior, but it just makes everybody mad. So it came from the watch that infographics biographics about uh, Nero. You know, these are the people who inspired the Bible. Remember that it didn't come from it didn't come from a really grounded culture. And it says a lot of really crazy shit, like cut a piece of your kid's dick off. You know, you should never do that. It, you are not wrong for questioning the Bible's word of Godness. You're actually intelligent. It's righter to say the Bible's wrong than to say the Bible's right. There will never be a surprise ending where the Bible turned out true, ever. It just is not going to happen on planet Earth. So, drop it. Stop touching baby dicks. They've been doing it by the millions. I got, I got generally mutilated as a kid without anesthesia. Wasn't allowed to talk about it either. When I mentioned it her, I would get freaking basically squashed. You know what I mean? There, there's a cultural energy in America called don't talk about circumcision. Don't mention we're genitally mutilating all the men. It's happened to everyone. And you're not, that's why, that's why we go to comedy and all the comedy is red-faced shouting. <laughs> people, people can't even express how angry they are. So yeah, that's why, that's why I used to clown myself or just, walk, oh, I got a little dick, do all that shit. It's literally because that's who these people want you to be. That's where they'll take it. And if you'll notice, they'll almost always have like a little bit of charm. They're like, he knows. He knows how I really feel. Yeah, people don't like anybody. It's, it's easy not to. Look at it. Look at how cats. You scratch and it's, you know, the Bible asks you to forgive and let go and move on because they're robbing you and lying to you. You know what I mean? They want you to be as non react Let me hit you. You know what I mean? Like, every serial killer in history has tied down his victim first and then hurt them while they were immobile. You know what I mean? Like, that's what the Bible did. No historicity to the Great Flood and no historicity to Adam and Eve. People are still so traumatized by the book that I doubt many are going to fully accept it's not real. And they're going to be hard. It's going to be hard for them to see straight due to the, what it's done. So, yeah. It's a tough time. It's such a tough time to be alive. But yeah, watching the Nero infographic, I couldn't believe some of the twists in his life. I mean, he would have been fine if he went into art and he weathered criticism face-to-face -face instead of murdering everybody. But you can't criticize an artist because you're going to get right... You're going to hurt his feelings. And then, so, you know, Nero gave them what they were. And he may have been efficient, especially with a name like Nero. I mean, I can really imagine that... Uh, you know, he made it synonymous with fire. Or did he, right? So, yeah, they got a range out here. It's not personal. They'd be shooting whether I was here or not, I imagine. Um, the tempo is finally different. I called out the tempo similarities this morning and it suddenly changed. So, maybe the one other viewer of my video was the fucking stalker. I don't think I have a stalker. I think it's a spiritual thing. It's like a cosmic sign. So, anyway... What else do I want to talk about? Yeah, 
waking up out of the Bible's hard, but that is why, like, I wanted to give this explanation. Like, why did I clown myself so much? It's because I saw they would give me impossibly stiff resistance, and they just wanted me to be the dirt anyway, so they felt good. So, in a way, naming myself the dirt to begin with, they were like, uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna try to win? What do you mean? And, you know, it, like, it confused them. That's being a guy, like, oh my god, you know, like, bucks with horns? They will get their horns stuck in inanimate objects because they're trying to fight them, you know what I mean? Like, that's why circumcision was invented, because you have a billion masculine, like, apes. Like, you tell you tell a man, if a woman rejects a man, he may just rape her out of anger. Like, how dare you think you're better than me? You're not better than me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Life is rude. So, while I think it's genital mutilation and it's horrific, it's going on to our babies, I also think the, you know, the, the way you've solved the man is a brute problem is you basically made him into a cuckolded slave. And it really did. Big dicks are forbidden by the Bible. Well, I guarantee you there's societies on Earth who know it's a joke. They're like, ha ha, slave class, serve your lord and expect to die. <laughs> Messed up. Like, th this human bunch is as wretched as anything else. They just are. I've seen them together too many times. And you can try to control the wretchedness by being wretched. I suppose that was my method. Be as awful as they expect it to be, and at least they'll stop thinking of something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Most people are expecting the worst, so if you just manifest it real quickly, they're going to be like, uh, you know, that's a, that's a Buddha trick, Tantra trick, is to show people what they're thinking of. You know, a, a Buddha can read minds for sure. Yeah, there's definitely a spiritual power, but I've been trying to sort odds from ends. The way I describe the Bible is it's an invention under occult principles. You know, the authors were human and they were clever enough to trap people. And that's as simple as it is. It doesn't mean prayer doesn't work. But just like the gods don't stop any bears from getting fish, you know what I mean? Like uh, as many fish as the bear can catch is the fish the bear can eat, right? And so, uh, why should we think gods would correct the religions or the words, right? I think words are slave script. I think the words are there so you follow a recipe, right? Like they've said, I've heard this a few times, that the world's elite are illiterate pedophiles. They're like garden people who like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, to be a word-bound, Christian-bound, non-touching, isolated warrior person is to be a type of lower class it's a it's a christianity is a carefully considered vice that sexually eliminates men and make them makes them docile servants and it was invented deliberately by people it has no god to it you know i live in an age where literally america is a state run away on that same thing with islam you know the big disarmament of the big three jew the jews are going to be the hardest to convince i don't know why but Muslims and Christians are ready to throw it off. They're tired of being told by old men and dead people what they should do because they know they're all selfish twats anyway. They're just doing it for their own damn self. The Bible is a piece of free expression, but it isn't truthful. It doesn't say things which are concrete. And so the, the problem with that is it makes truthfulness not matter. And it unbinds people from being words. You can't really be a word. I can't be a word. I will never fit inside a word's box. And probably the most frustrating thing being enlightened and talking to unenlightened people is they always go, what does that mean? What does that mean? You know, and they haven't realized yet that all words trap you in word world, but they'll never lead to the word, which is how they imply will happen. So it is like a box. Like you want to use English? All right. You're going, if you use English, you're going to end up converting to Christianity and you're going to end up uh, being like the things English was founded on, you know? I, I, I come from English people. We're very no touch. Mm -mm. You know, you can, you can hug when you see each other, but there's no sitting next to each other and there's no giving pleasure with each other's bodies. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would never massage somebody. This is what I learned on uh, medicine from psychedelics is that uh, the human body has a lot of energy in it, and that touch is immediately restorative. And that most of these, uh, what we call extremely toxic behaviors and traits, come from humans being non-touch oriented, 
and they come from people putting shame between people's emotional needs. Does that make sense? And so that's where you get this really barbarous, really knifey, really spiky behavior. And so, yeah. I don't give in to the ragers because I know they're mad because they want turf and stuff. You know, the eagle hates the hare. I've seen that. I know that. The eagle hates the hare. He thinks the hare is a villain who plots his destruction. Of course, that's what he tells himself so he can live with himself. You know, everything here eats. It's Cannibal Island. You could say there are gods. And yes, I've seen Providence. I don't doubt that. But there's, I know there's also enough humans who also believe in God and Providence that I can't rule out magic trickery. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, it seems to be that there would be a paranormal presence and emptiness that would be like God. And it may have the quality that it doesn't tell you what to say. But I'm not espousing that as a belief system, and I definitely know the Bible isn't real. It's just not. The, the archaeology of Earth goes before Adam and Eve in a way that looks like they didn't know about it. If God, if God really appeared and said, say this... Which is how the Bible makes it sound. The Bible sells the Bible on the idea that God said. It's God said. If it doesn't say anything that's immediately useful and instead traps the person in a world of self-harming behavior. Like the Bible beats people up. You're an original sinner. You're not good enough. You have all these lust. It, it, makes, it makes all the energies of being a man. It makes them all wicked and cruel and stupid. You know, these were the Romans. Nero just killed a ton of people. <laughs> you know, like, they were supposed to be the artists and the good guys. And it's funny, Nero killed a ton of people. And the first five years were, like, an excellent rule of, like, very enlightened, peacekeepy type stuff. And they just, like, he did all that good stuff. And then they made fun of him. And then he, <laughs> he started murdering people. Drinking from the lead goblets, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, crazy people. Anyway, 2,000 years ago, Christianity, a genital mutilation cult around, based around eternal hellfire and the return of their leader, who is the only special person on earth. Yeah, that was, that was as real as real to me my whole life until, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm, like, in shock. I'm, like, that's just not real. It's just not real. The historicity of Adam and Eve isn't there. That is not, I've been a diehard believer, I cried at the stations of the cross, you know, and it explains everything, because of the betrayal of the priests. Like, there was that great joke, relax kid, you can trust me, I ain't your priest. Yeah, you cannot, the, the way the priesthood should be between you and God is not the way they are. They are vicious, they're mean, they take a piece of your dick off until you're going to hell. They want your money. A lot of these priests take vows of celibacy and then they get married. Like, they see there's money in the church. Like, they just basically, it's a money collection with, like, some entertainment and promises for a bridge to nowhere, eternal life. They give you a problem that doesn't exist. Eternal sin and you're going to hell. Two absolutely made-up universes. And they give you a cosmology. If this thing doesn't know human history, there's no way in hell it knows about Lucifer. It's just Spider-Man. It's the Avengers, right? Avengers. <laughs> All right, I want this to be a quicker upload, so I'm going to stop it right here. But my main point in making this was to defend myself in history and say, why was I self-deprecating? And I'll say, I was self-deprecating because these motherfuckers offer so much resistance and hatred to everything I had to say that I realized the only place they wanted me to be was on the bottom. And I realized that you could almost rug pull them by starting there. The one, <laughs> it, it took away their strategy. You know, there's people who are just fighting with everyone they know. They meet someone, well, you're no good because they don't, they don't know, they don't have, they, they haven't tried to think of other people as worthy. It's still Snake Island. I know what time it is. You know what I mean? These Romans, you had mothers killing their sons and stuff like that. Like, it was like, woo. They were crazy. They, they, they acted with maximum passion in the moment, right? despite the consequences of it yeesh so anyway yeah i hope things i hope things get better for humans certainly detangling parasites will be a part of that and if my psychedelic recommendations turn out to be complete folly my er, my apologies but what i found is i found on the other end of psychedelics was the reason they didn't want you to know what they did it wasn't it wasn't a great forbidden tragedy that destroyed me it was a great secret that was revealed. That, and the secret's quality is so sublime that I know exactly why they told you not to do it. And it's specifically because they know it would make you. 
And here's this, here's this great irony, right? I've been out here trying to be pro what we call psychedelic for years. Almost everybody makes fun of me or says I sh or makes me wrong. And, you know, they'll post me all this fake, hey, I got free trip reports on this thing. It's like, it's totally just a normal human trying to sass me, trying to fucking, <laughs> trying to fucking disrespect me. And, uh, you know, they, they do it just because that's who they are. They're just, they're just really like these, they're, they're like jaguars, you know. They're not out there having fun. Any group of people in any class, even in Kanye's own home, are fighting with each other constantly. It's an all-about-me uphill battle. How can I get more time, attention, and love? And we're all programmed that way because the people who were ruthlessly successful survived. And so that's the beautiful thing about the human race is that we weren't the best, we weren't the kindest, we weren't the chosen of the gods. We were the ones who uh, fucked and made it. We acquired the most stuff. We put ourselves first the most. You know, so those successful traits are great until they spread throughout humanity. And then how are the successful traits to, together? Well, right now, you have some of the most hyper-aggressive, success-seeking, love-seeking, love-making, competitive people there's ever been. And they're all on drugs and steroids and shit. Why were steroids made illegal? 100% so the police state didn't have to deal with superhumans. That's all. It has nothing to do with your liver. None of those drugs damage your liver at all. None. None of them. It's a myth. It's a myth. It's a complete myth. All the reasons they told you not to do them are lies. 100%. They don't want you to do them so you don't know what they do. They don't want you to do them so they don't have to deal with you on them. <laughs> the whole thing had to do with how hard it would be for a 35-year-old police constable who barely works out to put a man in handcuffs who's on meth and steroids. The answer is the man on meth and steroids could take over the town. That's the secret thing they don't want. They don't want anyone except their preconceived conspired organization, which is just here to harvest resources for Europe anyway, like, capitalism was there to inspire foreign banking powers. Well, guess what? All those Norwegian states are trillionaires, you know? All the blonde-haired, blue-eyed people. How is it Hitler's fighting for the Aryan race? And yet, he's not blonde or blue-eyed or really, like, no one around him looked like that. How did that happen? Well, obviously, they looked up to somebody. Some secret party, probably. Some secret inspirer. Some secret super family from the Aryans who said, Look at us. We are the gods. We are great. You do as we say. And they just, like, they didn't tell anyone they had that meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm just saying how it is. Uh, you know, uh, America has been cleaned of her gold and none of it's still in America. Uh, I mean, except for p personal property, you know what I mean? Like, most of the stockpiles of gold are in European or European banking families. They have them all from the Americas. Well, how'd they get over there? Very clever uh, lending and loaning practices, you know, uh, we'll finance your war, sure, they, they, we are not clued in that they have inspired both sides to conflict, but then they go, okay, yeah, we'll help you pay for it, America's doing that somewhat, I really think that they use America as their outsourced military, they love the military and the police, and the reason America's been able to borrow, like, 700 trillion dollars, or a quintillion, or however much it is now, is, uh, because these foreign powers said, go ahead, we'll keep funding you, because they like the fact that they can throw this military around. And I don't believe in the election system. Like, I <laughs> I voted for Obama, and I gave money to I, I Actually, I didn't vote for Obama, but I gave him money, because I know that the votes don't really matter. It's, uh, it's, uh, the, uh, the, uh, it's all about the money. It's about who gets more advertising. That's all it is, is advertising. Like me, right? All right, all these videos on here, look how many views I got, like 10. At the time of writing this, my channel is a tumbleweed, right? But when I promote my posts and I get seen by thousands of people, now half of them are liking it, right? Well, I'm talking and lecturing as an idea of like a deposit for history, like literally like the senator, like Socrates or Seneca, you know, these old men who said, I'm going to throw pearls of wisdom to eternity and see what sticks and they got a lot by um and what i want to say is yeah they'll probably preserve what's on the internet through time capsules or just like i i've known enough people who work in like high tech high security places that these are people who are like squirrels and rats 
they they save everything you know there were there were people i knew i'm sure who would like take classified hard drives home and like for no reason they're just like i'm gonna stock you know just like the squirrel behavior men are that way they're squirrels they you know try if you don't believe me take a 20 doll take a 20 and hide it somewhere in your house you're gonna be gleeful you're gonna be like look i put a 20 in a book and i'll forget about it till one day you know yeah, people people like that, and especially white people, because we have to survive winters. You know, we can't we can't rely on seasonal hunting and stuff like that. We have to stockpile. You know, you don't want to go get wood when everything's iced. You want to already have a massive pile. Like imagine getting a massive pile of wood for the winter over like thousands of years on repeat. That's that's my people. You know. A little bit of sun is too much for me. Yeah, oh man, for me to go to Iraq, oh, that was a terrible mistake. For me to grow up in Tucson, right? Like, I can't get over my parents. Like, every anything I hated, they were totally down to do. It was like I was in a nightmare where the more I hated it, the more they wanted to do it, and the more they tried to force me. All the time! The things I easy, easily and readily and, read, and readily wanted to do... They threw flack on and made difficult, and the things I hated, they they forced me into. Like they were just like, because that was that's what was done to them. Because that's how religion is. Religion is a bunch of untrue shit that's designed to take your naturally evolved consciousness and wrest control of it and make you live civil and civilly and obedient. Christianity, even though it's fake, put a structure on society. But the problem is the guy who wrote it was just too harsh. He knew that asking huge prices committed people, you know. If you cut off even one foreskin for Christianity, you're not going to hear any doubt or you're so committed. There's no going back because you're never going to admit to yourself what you did. You know what I mean? And they're mutilating millions of babies. Like, you think I'm crazy? I'm in a country that's mutilating millions of babies. Like, that's that's not fake. They can't see that. They're like, oh, we should be trained to mutilate the rest, right? You got kids who feel like they don't have the confidence to grow up in their just birth gender. So they're fucking wrecking their lives. And you've got parents, because of the anti pedal laws, you don't have parents touching their children. Parents are not touching their children at all. They don't want to risk it. Hug only, one or two seconds, let go. Not longer than that. That's weird. That's not healthy touch. That's not what psychedelics taught me. You want to do it right? Me, I've met people who are really good energy healers, like masseuses. Uh, someone who loves others, they sparkle under their skin. They sparkle under their skin. If someone actually next to you feels empathically to you, you will feel them as a light. They'll exist, right? So you got to be willing to touch each other. You got to be willing to spend time with each other. And yeah, the reason I was self-deprecating my whole life, I knew that if I wanted people to at least not outwardly fight me on face value... I had to go in and throw myself under the rug and be like, oh, I'm a stupid idiot. Ha, I just here making no sense. Because that's what they always say. They go, oh, that made no sense. He didn't read what I said. He didn't try to understand it. He said, he's probably stupid. I'm going to use his existence to seem smart and tell him he's dumb. That's, that's human. That's most of the discourse I've gotten in my life was, nah, uh Didn't hear it. Didn't understand. Didn't agree. Uh-uh. Nope. This is why it's like, those people who go on like mass shootings, I'm like, yeah, I know what time it is. I know what time it is. These people weren't that nice to begin with. They really weren't. You go outside and try to have a conversation with anybody. They hate more things than they like. All of them. They don't, they, 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 they will tell you what's wrong with it before they tell you what's right. All of them. You can't win with them. The girl is cheating on guys. And don't let girls disrespect you. If a girl gives her all her sexual love, energy, emotion, and there's any guy behind her who thinks he's with her, she's disrespected you and him. For sure. There are plenty of guys who don't care about that. Why? It's fucking Cannibal Island. It doesn't care what's right or wrong. The Bible sold the false story that morality mattered to create it. Right? It said, God's going to send you to hell unless you listen to these rules. And they sound like good rules. But the problem is, is nature and us don't work that way. I didn't evolve that way. It, it's Monster Island. It's fight and win. It's all about me. You know, it's, uh, it's my time to shine. And so, yeah, religion's rolling into it. Like, yeah, you're the center of your own universe. <laughs> no, I'm the center of your universe. That's how they mean it. It's Snake Island. So...
Yeah. There are god realms. I've seen them. The god realms have a buoyant energy, you know, and to, to figure out how to get in there and stay there, you know. Are there people on planet Earth who don't need to eat to live? Carefully test them. If there's any that can prove it, they're the way. That's my opinion. They are the way. Because then you're not taking from others. Then you're self-sustaining. Then your whole consciousness will change. Right? But anyway, on the answer to why sometimes I was self-deprecating is because psychically I can feel like a pocket where they're anticipating something. And so the first choice is to just not talk about the thing they're anticipating until it falls off and goes away. That sometimes works. Except... When, uh, except when they don't want to let it go. And then like psychically, like intuitively, like as a Buddha, I'll just become that. You got a problem with whatever it is. I'll just become that real quick. They'll be shocked because that's what they were thinking about. And then I'll be able to show them how to work with it and get out of it. Cause that's the other thing as a Buddha too, is like non-attachment of thought object is instant karma replacement, instant karma renewal, instant karma creation. That's what manifestation is, right? The Bible was a cult mind control made by a crazy Roman cult. It's not esoteric truth because it lacks historicity. But it doesn't mean spirituality is unreal. It doesn't mean there's not a transcendental presence, right? In the emptiness, so too is this thing. I've tested it and found it. It's really real, like that mirror story. Watch my mirror story if you want to get into it. Anyway, 16. May all the wrong things in the world be made right. And thank you for being here forevermore.